one of the reasons that I am proud to be a senator is because all of us know, it's not something we speak about often, but all of us know, Democrats and Republicans, that there are lines we should not cross. We may huff and we may puff and we may argue passionately, but we know there are lines that you do not cross. And maybe I'm naive. I want to believe that if my Democratic colleagues really thought they could pass this bill, they wouldn't do it. Because this bill represents a line you don't cross. It will destroy the United States Supreme Court as, a, as an institution. Uh, point two, let me reiterate what I just said. This bill is dead as fried chicken. It's going to get out of committee. It doesn't have 60 votes in the Senate. And it sure can't pass the House. So why do it? Why do it? Why beat the living crap out of the United States Supreme Court? I, 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 I just don't get it. I understand politics, but I just don't get it. Um, my Democratic colleagues tried to expand the Supreme Court. They tried to pack it. They never had the votes. I still want to believe that if they had had the votes, they wouldn't have done it. Maybe I'm naive. Now, there's another way to diminish the value of the, uh, the, uh, the integrity of the United States Supreme Court, and that's shrink it. Imagine, just, I mean, one of the provisions in this bill is so outrageous. I mean, imagine, you want to shut, a, shut the Senate down? Allow anybody who wants to but to file a complaint against a senator if the complainant thinks that senator has a conflict of interest and require that, that the complaint be resolved before you vote. That's what this bill does to the United States Supreme Court. Isn't that special? How many complaints do you think they're going to be? Every single day. And the whole point, if they can't expand the court, they'll shrink it. This bill, it, it, it just, I, I mean, I, I, I'm really disappointed in, in some of my colleagues for even bringing this thing. And for every one of you who writes what Kennedy says, He'll buy you fried chicken. That's right. <laughs> It'll be dead.